thanks for coming to check out this video. Today's video is super exciting. Today's video is all about these faux locks that I am rocking right now. I think they're actually called Goddess Braid Faux Locks. And these are bomb you guys like I have been waiting so long to go ahead and get this tutorial and review popping so without further ado let's jump right into it you guys so before we get started make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new upload make sure you're hitting that thumbs up give me that like because you know this video is about to be everything you need and more <laughs> make sure you turn on post notifications so you never miss a new upload that comes from yours truly just the dragoness now let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial all right, you guys, so I'm going to do a voiceover for this part. We're going to start off with one of those braided wig caps. You can get those from your local beauty supply store. Mine was $6.99. I attached a closure that I had previously. I had dyed it blonde. It doesn't have to be blonde. It can be whatever color you want. And just section it off into box braids, braid it off, uh, only maybe like four inches or so, and then cut the remainder of the hair off. And remember to leave your baby hairs out if you want baby hairs. Um, the hair that I'm using today is by Zuri. It's their Goddess Braid Loose Wave in 26 inches. I do have about 10 packs. Um, the hair comes pre-looped and is perfect for crochet. And it has these beautiful loose waves at the bottom. And it comes in a variety of colors. Today I wanted to do a unicorn style. So I used a bunch of different colors. Here is how I installed them. I sort of did a window pattern so you can sort of see their space in between and you can see the braid, the um, crochet lock underneath in between. So that's how I make sure I space out my crochets so they're not too densely packed. When I go ahead and use my crochet needle, I place it going down and then I add, attach the hair underneath the braid, pull it through, and then loop the hair in between the loop and pull the remainder of the hair through so that the knot is underneath. And then when you lay the hair down, the knot is under the hair. So now I'm moving up to the next corn row on the wig cap, placing the next goddess lock in between the two that are on the corn row underneath it. So I hope you can get what I'm saying. Like I'm sort of making this little window pane pattern so that the dreads are not too closely together. So now I'm up at the top and I just want to show you that when I started intertwining the colors, I left spaces. So um, I put some purple in, some blonde in, and I leave space to add in pink and red so that the colors start to blend together. I also started adding the um, locks onto the closure as well so you can see where I added the locks onto the closure also. And I'll show you how to do that in the next clip. Okay, so here you see I'm just adding in different colors um, so that it looks well mixed together. Don't go overboard. I went crazy and added way too much hair and ended up having to take a lot of it out afterwards. So try not to make your wig too bulky. All right, so here's how you do it for the closure part. You place the, the crochet hook underneath the braid that you created on the closure. Go ahead and um, place the braid and the lock through the loop of the goddess lock. Make sure you don't get your baby hairs in there. You want to keep those out. Oh, I forgot to mention you need to spray those braids on the closure with hairspray to harden them so that they don't unravel while you're wearing your wig. 
And then you're going to unravel the goddess lock and place the braid inside of the goddess lock. And I have another tutorial on this. If it's not clear, I will leave a link to the other tutorial that I have, which is way more clear. Um, and there's also thousands of videos on YouTube on this technique. So um, if you have questions, just check out that previous video. And um, you can also leave a comment in the, information, in the comment section down below. But yeah, you guys, it's really, really simple. This is a great way to make a realistic looking wig. The only thing that I don't like about how it came out is that the wig, the closure that I used is blonde. And you can see that line of demarcation between the blonde closure and the bl black braids on the braided wig cap. So if I was to do it again, I make sure I use a black closure. Otherwise, I love how this wig turned out. All right, you guys, so this is the finished product of the wig. Um, it does have two combs in the top of the wig cap, and it came with a comb in the back of the wig cap, as well as two adjustable straps, which I thought was perfect. Um, I also have to go ahead and cut that piece underneath the closure, cut that out. Also, if you're curious about my um, head that I used, my wig block that I used, I did get that from Sam's Beauty, and I'll leave a link to that wig block. It is awesome. And there you have it. Your wig is complete. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I am absolutely loving these faux goddess locks. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I was really, really feeling this multicolored unicorn type bohemian look. And um, I'm really, really happy with the way that it turned out. I'm so excited that I made it as a wig, you guys, because I'm always changing my hair, doing tutorials, doing this and that. And I really hate wasting hair. So now that it's on a wig, I can literally pop it on, do what I want to do, switch it, change it, and it'll stay nice and fresh. So I know some of you guys are like, oh, wig, I'm so scared, and you don't want to try wigs. But I promise you, just think about it. It's really easy to do, and it will save your dreads. Like, you will be able to keep them a lot longer if you do it as a wig. So think about it. Give it a try. If you do give it a try, please hit me up. Share the pictures with me so I can start sharing sharing them picture you guys on my um website and on my instagram and my facebook if you guys are following my tutorials and doing these styles so make sure you're tagging me i also wanted to let you guys know that i did have 10 packs of this hair and literally you guys i used almost all 10 packs this is all the dreads that i have left over i would say you'd probably be good with just six Mm, you probably be good with like seven because this is a lot all right so if you guys have questions if i haven't answered something definitely leave me a comment in the comment box down below i will leave a link to where you can purchase this hair in the information bar and yeah you guys make sure you're checking out my wig blog where i sell my wigs for up to 40 percent off so you definitely don't want to miss that all right you guys stay tuned for the slow-mo Oh, something, but it